How's it going, everyone? I am Jeremy Alexander, and welcome to Construct 2. We're going to be making a platformer game. If you have never made one before, this is probably going to be the easiest way for you to make one. If you're brand new to programming, or you just want to learn Construct 2, then this is the video for you. So let's get started. I like pixel kind of games. So we're going to make a file new retro style project and let's get started. We're going to delete the two objects that are on our layout to begin with here. And I have my construct two set up a little bit differently from yours, but that's okay. You can just maneuver the windows around until you get it to be like mine. But what we're going to do first is we're going to make our initial layout a lot smaller. So let's go to our layout size in our properties. And if you can't get there, just click on your layout. Let's make the width. 640 and the height 480 just so we have a little bit of a smaller space to work with now our window size can stay the same for now I don't think we'll need to change that and let's import some artwork. So this is from opengameart.org It's from the author butch I believe and you can check it out in the description and actually you're gonna have to download it from the description That way I can just link you to that page on open game art and what we're going to do is double click and we're gonna go make a new tile map so this is how we're gonna save a lot of memory we're gonna hit okay open we're gonna open the image and excuse my really messy desktop here as I find our image sheet 9 is what it's gonna be called when you download it and if we zoom in here you can see the uh, art we're going to be using so we have a few things here that we can use and there's gonna be a few enemies or I think there's two enemies and an attack which is cool so this platformer might be a little bit limited as to what we can do, but there's still a lot of setup that is going to be crucial. So let's call this tile map object. Let's go into its properties over here. Let's call it TM sprite sheet. And this sprite sheet, I'm eventually going to clone, I believe. No, actually, I'm not sure yet. Let's just keep going. So if you have, if, or if you don't have this tile map window open, go into view and hit the tile map bar and make sure you open that up. And with your tile map selected, make sure that it spans across the entire layer here or layout. And let's click over here. So you can see, and this is probably one of my favorite parts of Construct 2, it comes in with a built-in tile editor. And that's really helpful. You can import stuff from tiled if you prefer to do it that way. But I think it's really cool that this is built right in. So our tiles are not the correct size, as you can see here, as I'm trying to place them over here. So let's go to our properties window and let's go all the way down to our tile width and height and change it to be 16 by 16. And then the last thing we need to do there is go into our view tab, hit show grid, and now we have to change our grid width to also be 16 by 16. Okay, and we can turn snap to grid on if we need it. Cool, so now what we're going to do is we're going to build the background of our layer. And this might be a little bit confusing, but hang in there with me. So right now what we want to do is we want to zoom in to, and to zoom in, hold down control and mouse wheel, and to pan around, just hold down the space bar. What we want to do is we want to start building in our window size, that dotted layout there. So let's take the uh, rectangle tile tool and let's grab this right here and all we're going to do is click and drag so this is kind of like the rectangle tile tool it kind of just helps you tile really easily it's almost like a paint bucket tool and let's just span this across the entire screen like that and then let's grab the one right underneath it and let's go a few tiles deep cool so this is kind of going to act as our background layer so what we're going to do next is make a little bit more background elements and you can check this out in open game art where you got this sprite sheet from there is a cool sample photo feel free to design your uh, level however you like and I'm just going to quickly use this to kind of act as a background uh, sprite sheet which could be cool I'm just gonna kind of mess around with it here actually let me zoom in that would that would be really helpful so this needs to be like this and this guy needs to go like this and something like this and this is just for show. This is just to show off the cool tile mapping in Construct 2. So I'm okay that there's not really a corner piece for right here. And I can instead put like something like that there. Or I could put this guy over here. And you can just mess around with it and have some fun. But there we go. That is our background. So now you might be thinking, well, where's our platform? So let's, let's actually rename this before we lock it. Let's rename this to our background layer. 
and let's hit lock and let's make a new layer and let's rename this to our level. And we're probably gonna put our collision on here as well because I'm gonna to cater towards the people using the very f the free version of Construct 2. I'm using the personal version so I can make as many layers as I want, but I believe the free version is limited to four. So we're gonna to try to do as much as we can with four layers. Let's also save our project or just rename this. I'm gonna call this my YouTube game. And I'll hit save, YouTube game. You can see I made one before, but I didn't use that recording. Okay, let's go to the next part of this tutorial. So we're going to make our actual level. Let's grab some tiles and you can grab whatever tiles you want. You can grab these. I'm going to grab this one to start with and grab the tile tool. So not or the pencil tile tool. And let's kind of draw from here. Oh, so we've already made a tile map and we're actually going to make a new one. That's what we we're going to do. My bad. So what we're going to do to do that is we're going to clone our original tile sheet. So the one that we have locked on the background layer, we're going to right click clone in our objects window. And now on the second one here, we can edit this and put this up here. So all I did was I dragged it and now I put it back on. So now, hold on, let me grab my mouse pointer here. We have another, or we have a clone of the first tile map. And you can see that it's a clone and that the layer it's on is level. Cool. So now that we have a tile map to actually draw to, we can start to draw our actual level. And just kidding, I have to go into tile map two and just quickly change this to be 16 by 16. Now, if your tile map comes with uh, margins and stuff like that, you have these offsets and spacings to mess with as well, but I highly recommend just using this to follow along. And let's continue. So let's just start to draw for real with the pencil tile tool, there we go. And something like this. And then I'm gonna grab my rectangle tool and I'm just gonna draw like this a little bit. I kind of want to show off what we had just done there so I don't draw over that. Let's see. Something like this is cool. And let's draw another one over here. So like this maybe. And this is not meant to be the best level. It's just to, meant to show you how to do this. So I'll probably change this later on, but for right now, I am happy with that. So let's lock this. Let's go back to our background layer. And now you'll see that our background layer has no transparency because it has a background color. Now, if I put this to yes, we'd have no background color whatsoever in case you wanted to use an image or something like that. But for right now, we're gonna put this at no, and I'm gonna change this background color to something like that, or maybe like that. Something that doesn't look horrible to your eyes would be preferred. Doesn't really matter what you end up using, just something that you can tolerate to look at for right now, just so it's not completely white. I'm fine with that. And let's hit save. Oh, I don't even know what happened there. Let's hit save. And that's pretty much how we're going to design our level. In the next video, we'll probably start to add our player and we'll get into programming a platform game together. So thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is Jeremy. Please make sure to like and subscribe and comment below what you want to see in this game. We are a little bit limited with this sprite sheet, but we shouldn't be too bad. So if you have any ideas or suggestions, please let me know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.